Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a quick video regarding various things happening in the world around us. It'll be very short, but I'm just going to talk about a few things. First, I want to state that, that I still sound off because I've been feeling really bad and it feels like strep throat. Um, I shared about that in my previous video about what I've been going through. I've been feeling really bad, so that's why I sound the way I do. <clears throat> so, it's uh, my throat sore, swollen, abdominal pain, lots of uh, achiness and congestion, rashes and itching, all kinds of mess. Moving on to this, thank you for the prayers. Huge earthquake series. There's been a huge earthquake series comprising more than 700 tremors that are currently swarming the Philippines. And they've been dealing with a lot of storms as well. Scientists say it may be leading to the next big one to hit the area. Of course, you can't really take that. You could take that with a grain of salt, I suppose, because they, every time, every single time they say that, every time there's been a swarm, they always say the big one's coming. Could be, though. Always keep an eye. Always keep your eyes open. Another big storm, by the way, is hitting the area of Mozambique, which has been hit multiple times with and uh, that uh, this storm where Storm Ida hit. Major storms are hitting there again. Major flooding, major storms in Iowa, the Midwest, Missouri, um, Tennessee. We got hit by a strong, several strong storms actually yesterday. And they first they stated on the weather they said oh okay they're going to hit they're gonna be here at noon and then I was like okay and then they changed it to 5 p.m. then it was like 1 p.m. then they changed it again to 4 to 5 p.m. after that they had to change it back boom they came out of nowhere and they wound up hitting they wound up springing upon us at with heavy winds many places got hail damage damage damaging winds and funnel clouds and things Several places across the mid south and they're in the south and all over the United States got major, major storms and flooding, but we wound up getting a lot of wind and um, it turned pitch dark so much so that the light, the street light came on and it turned pitch dark like it literally looked like it was the middle of the night outside. First, it turned kind of a weird light outside, some places turned red, the sky turned red, they said and for us it turned pitch black pitch dark and it looked like it was nighttime outside like late evening and it was five o'clock so so the second round came at five o'clock and it's just these small storms pack a big punch and more storms hitting all over the country carolinas missouri everywhere more than a hundred million are in the path of these life of this these life-threatening storms, including life-threatening cyclone Fanny, or Fanny. I, I I don't know. I, I don't want to say Fanny. People make a joke out of it, but Fanny, whichever. As storms forecasted to predict a direct hit on the eastern coast of India, so this is uh, very serious stuff going on. They're telling individuals to stop drinking California tap water. <clears throat> California drinking water is so chemically contaminated that it's carcinogenic. And it's causing health, cancer issues. Yeah. It's so chemically contaminated that it's become carcinogenic. And more, uh, as, of, as of 13 hours ago, it was posted that more, more strange and mysterious booms and rumblings and unexplained sounds are baffling residents not just in localized areas but across this world but the mystery remains no one has an explanation as to where they're coming from people speculate military military maneuvers government experiments underground tunnels the apocalypse the uh, the Schumann resonance the awakening some say the magnetosphere the poles shifting others say that it's uh, you know Quantum technology, D-Wave technology, HARP, CERN, uh, Large Hadron Collider technology. Some say that it's uh, frequencies being beamed. Some say 5G. Other people say which 5G is just now happening, and this has been happening for quite some time. But some say various frequencies, and I've been getting a lot of ringing in the ears, but I've also got this illness too. So, But it's been happening in the United States and around this world. Maybe I'll post on Twitter asking people what they think about them.
but what do you think about them? These mysterious booms are still happening. We've heard many, not just the thunder that happened, but actual just booms, unexplained booms when we have a clear sky. Helicopters were flying super low to the point they shook the house the other day. And they headed, one of them headed toward that strange facility that I'll show you sometime on the hill, or in the hills that's actually on government-owned property. The government actually owns those hills, which we didn't know until someone around here told us. <clears throat> Back when they were much friendlier, the person was much friendlier then, but I'm not getting into that. Um, you know how people are. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the, government, the property was government-owned. It might, it might still be, probably is. They had a sign up there that said, "Oh, it was a dollar store in the middle of the woods." Yeah, right. A dollar store. Uh, then they said, "Oh, it was a, it was a dollar tree." Let's see, a dollar store, uh, a family dollar. It said, "Family dollar number whatever." It said, "Then it was a Doritos factory, uh, Doritos factory number whatever." And then they changed it to just nothing listed. And you know good and well that they were just coming up with random names. Could be an underground base. It could be going underground, because the other day I heard, when I was walking the dog, I heard, Koom, Koom. sound like something moving underground, literally moving. It sounded like a chamber door opening and moving underground, right under where we used to burn the garbage before there was a burn ban, and you can't burn garbage, you can't burn sticks, you have to alert the, the authorities, the alert the authorities, and in the county over from us, they used to burn all the time, but now it's stated on the newspaper and the local website that, of the, the newspaper website as well, that you have to... Uh, now alert, alert the authorities and some of them actually have to some in some areas they'll have to watch you burn well they'll have to watch you burn the whatever you're burning if it sticks or anything so that's uh, that's some news updates there and they're advancing the cell phone signal around they say there's been a lot of hacking situations a lot of monitoring going on um, interfering with the stuff and those military helicopters were so low that it's scary. They were shaking the house and hurting your ears, and you could feel the frequency from them. And they were so low, they were moving the trees. So, who knows what these mysterious booms are. Maybe it's signs from the heavens. Sounds from the heavens. I know these mysterious, uh... I know there was ancient texts that, state that stated that God would speak through these booms and these rumbles and these sounds and trumpet sounds and these frequencies. I've heard train horn sounds and everything, you name it. But mysterious booms and rumblings and these unexplained things are still baffling residents, even experts around this world. The mystery remains. The mystery remains. What do you think they are? Especially these uh, trumpet and horn sounds. Those severe storms that are slamming Texas and Missouri, Oklahoma and Kansas and Arkansas, they are monumentous. They are very, very strong storms. And they've They've dumped heavy rain, hail, and flooding, and Iowa got their levees broke, and uh, they got more flooding from that. The dams ruined, levees broken. After dealing with that uh, catastrophic billion-dollar flooding, that multi-billion-dollar flooding that happened last month, now that's happened. And uh, there's been so much damage all over this world, so much there's been so much happening and uh, I just like to keep everyone up to date on it now, now I just want to share the positivity even though my prayers go and my love go to everyone dealing with these more than 30 tornadoes that hit and the four people killed in Oklahoma may they rest in peace and that tragic event just a couple of miles north from us in uh, where seven people were tortured and killed in Westmoreland Tennessee by that individual who that deranged individual, I don't know if he had, if he was, uh, I know he was psychotic, but I, I don't know if he was, uh, they, they couldn't afford help, so, I mean, that's just, that's, people need help and they can't get it, which that guy needed beyond help, he needed to be probably in an insane asylum, um, I mean, he, I can't even believe he got let out of, of prison or jail, but, uh, he was, uh, just look up the Westmoreland, Tennessee, Westmoreland, Tennessee tragedy. Look up the Westmoreland, Tennessee shooting tragedy, and you'll hear about it and read, read about it. It's all over the news. It made world news in every country, I mean, every continent that you can think of. It was all over instantly. That's how big of a deal it was. Um, and it was, it was awful. 
and uh, maybe he was a sociopath. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. He had to have no remorse, no emotion. But anyway, four people were killed, so I pray for those people, the families, and uh, may their souls rest in peace. That Oklahoma, Missouri storms, so much hail, heavy rain, torrential downpours, and flooding, and so much, so many tornadoes happen. So many tornadoes happening. So my love goes out to everyone. This has been an update on various things happening in the world around us. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal's below, and. Uh, I've now got Patreon. I'll put that, I put that below as well. My email for this channel is also below. And if you want to post your comments in the comment section, feel free to do so. I hope, I hope and pray that I feel better and that all of this mess just goes away. And I hope my mama feels well as well. And uh, as always, this is Spaced Out Productions signing out. Until next time, peace. Bye.